Pretty much all our theories we have, be it physics, chemistry, biology, astronomy, they are formulated in mathematical language. So mathematics seems to be the universal language that applies when it comes to natural phenomena. And mathematics is not at all a closed subject like maybe many outsiders think. It's something that they've learned in school and that's it. No, mathematics is a, is a, is a, is a science like, 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 like all the others and, and, uh, and uh, constantly new things are being developed and being explored. And, uh, uh, the kind of mathematics I would like to develop or explore is the one that uh, might be particularly useful uh, for applications in physics. I can only truly understand the physics if I can actually understand the mathematics behind the theory. So my motivation is on the physics side. I would consider myself a physicist, but the way I work is more like the work of a mathematician. Concretely, what I do is uh, called quantum statistical mechanics or the quantum many body problem. So we try to understand how the microscopic laws of nature that govern the motion of atoms and molecules, how they lead to the many different phenomena that we observe sort of in macroscopic systems. So a simple example is uh, water and ice. So the main constituents are the same. It's, it's, just, uh, it's just the water molecules. But depending on external parameters like the pressure or the temperature, they might very look, different, look very different in practice. Right? Not only that, the mathematical theory describing them is exactly the same. One big challenge is to understand how this is. How, how can the same equations on the microscopic level lead to so drastically different effects on the macroscopic level? And that's the basic question I'm trying to understand. Uh, using modern mathematical tools. The better we understand nature, the better we understand the structure of materials and so on, uh, the better we will be able to manipulate them. If one looks back in history, the people who sort of uh, invented our modern theory of quantum mechanics almost 100 years ago, they certainly didn't have in mind uh, the fact that uh, nowadays we would be using computers and cellular telephones and all this technology which as a basic input needed our understanding of quantum mechanics which however came much much earlier. <laughs> 